shape in Quincy's future, I fully understand the responsibility and expectations that you in turn place in me. I will work to better communicate with you, our citizens. I will improve how our city does business, ensuring you get the most for your tax dollars. We will find ways to make government more open, responsive, and most importantly, more efficient. This morning, we will take the first step toward this goal by moving the Department of Constituent Services directly into the mayor's office. Every citizen holds office, and I assume the office of mayor ready to serve you. <laughs> to my colleagues behind me in government, city council, and on the school committee, you have my pledge to work together. If it is a good idea, let us make it reality. To our state legislators, I ask for your support and guidance. To our business community, Quincy is ready to help you create jobs to ensure a thriving economy. To our teachers, we value the vital work you do in the classroom. To our police and firefighters, you put your lives on the line every day, and I salute you. To our laborers, technicians, <coughs> office workers, you are the gears that make the city work day in and day out, and we're grateful for your service. To all of you, know that my door is always open. <laughs> to our citizens, young and old, from so many diverse cultures and backgrounds, please know that City Hall is the people's house, and I am only its temporary steward. You were kind enough to elect me with your ballots. As we face the challenges ahead, I ask you to confirm me with your prayers. And I ask God's blessing on our work and on our city. As we embark this morning on a new chapter in our city's history, it is also a new chapter in my history. I have worked in city government for 20 years and was fortunate to learn and serve with many mentors. The most influential of these was my dad, the late Dick Coke, who taught me the value of public service and about treating everyone with dignity and respect. More than 50 years ago, he started the Coke Club, an organization that touched thousands of Quincy people with its sports, charity, and civic activities. Let me close this morning with the motto he penned for this organization. In his words, I find the beacon that will guide me as the mayor of this great city. Everyone willing to help, willing to help everyone. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you.